Okay, so let's thread a needle and tie a knot. The three things you're gonna be needing here is your sewing needle, your spool of thread, and your scissors. So as you can see here, a bit closer up, your needle has a hole on the top called the eye of the needle. Okay, we're gonna get the thread through the eye of the needle. And it's actually a very, very simple process the more you practice it. If you already know how to do this, you could just skip along and move on to the second course. So before you ever do this, you always want to trim your thread because it gives you a nice clean finish and it's much easier to thread through the eye of the needle. Now you want to hold your thread between your thumb and your pointer finger about that much sticking out. So the needle or um, excuse me, the thread, it's a bit taut and sticking out and will easily go through the eye. If you have your thread hanging like this and trying to get it through the eye of the needle, it's gonna take you a long time, if not virtually impossible, not sure. So here's what you do. You hold it like this, so your thread sort of is like sticking out, okay? And you just slip it through the eye of the needle and you pull it through. You pull it through and you're gonna need about your arm's length, okay? Measure all the way up to your arm, okay? You're gonna hold it up, hold it this way and you're gonna have your double threaded needle. So it means on your needle, you have sort of two threads, even though you didn't do any cutting yet, okay? It's double threaded. This will make a stronger stitch. So all the way at the end here is where you're gonna cut. Okay, you're gonna cut right here, and then we are going to make a double knot. You always wanna make a double knot when you sew because um, it won't slip through the fabric. And when we move on to the next course, I'll show you what that means. So there's a couple of ways to make a double knot. If you already know how to make a double knot, make it your way. If not, here are two ways that I use. The first way is a loop where I make a loop and I stick the tail under and through the loop, not one. And then I copy it again, make a loop, hold it down, put the tail under and through the loop. And then I kind of guide it with my thumb nail and I make it land on top of the other knot. Okay, sometimes even I, with many years of sewing, kind of skip that and, it, and the knot slips over and I just have to double it again. It's not a big deal, okay? Another way to do it is like the magic knot, I call it, where you're gonna use your finger and you're going to make an X, okay? And then you slip and roll, see how I'm rolling? And then you hold that knot and you pull. And again, you have a knot. I'll show that to you again. Okay, you could do your loop and tail method this way. Put the tail under, slip it through the loop, pull, there's your knot. Around again, make, I'm sorry, make a loop again. Put the tail under, pull, and there. We make it land. Notice how I use my finger to make it guide right on and it lands on. And then the second way, the magic knot, again, just similar, make an X on your pointer finger, put your thumb over the X and roll your fingers, and then hold it and pull, magic knot. So practice that. And before you know it, you're gonna be able to do this without even thinking about it. See you in the next course.